in uh, Nottingham. Uh, it's qualifying in. He actually won the race by was it 13 hundred second from uh, Liam Heath, who's actually in the C2. So he's pushed quite hard. K2. That's one. K2. <laughs> so he had a bit of an amazing yeah. situation there. Let's go to the. And I, I know that Cesare, Cesare he, he did some good World Cup races last year, and I think he won in Duisburg. And um, I don't really know what he did uh, at the Olympics, but I think he was a little bit disappointed. Yeah, he didn't, uh, make, the, didn't make the A final. So. Uh, I think he expect, expected a little bit more, and uh, let's see what's going on here. And um, Conditions, a slight, looks like a slight tailwind. You're out on the water. Yeah, the, the wind changed a little bit, so you can expect fast times now, I think. And oh. I believe the world's fastest time is done in 1992, 33 seconds. 1992. Oh, maybe, <laughs> maybe this distance was a little bit shorter, but uh. anyway, there's a three that we need to look out for. Piotr Zewanowski, he's actually won here, well, several times probably, but he actually won the 2011 Worlds here and then no. damaged his wrist and so had most of last season in problems didn't justify himself in the in the olympics but i guess he's uh it was tragic for him last year i think do you have much communication with the with the poles and obviously being your neighbors or not not, particularly? No, not not a lot and I, so i'm more from western germany and um we have no contact to them and but there are still some athletes which are you know there's the start it's so important to get out of the race so fast, and um, yeah, now we can. Well, we're uh, off. Off. had a good start, and um, oh, that's crazy. They're yeah, going so fast. 100 Auto meters to go. We're all lane, halfway lane through. number it. one, the guy from Russia, he's going very, very fast. Cesare is in front, and Duda's second. It's all in the uh, line. That's impressive. We'll see, but yeah, Cesaro will win. Cesaro is going to get it. Piotr and then Ed, but I think. Oh, that was impressive, huh? Two meters in front. Well, he's happy himself. Like last year. Big guy, isn't he? He is, definitely. <laughs> Very big guy. You may have heard some other noise in the background. It was just uh, Kenny Wallace receiving his, uh, his gold medal. Well, that'll give him a lot of confidence going into the year, won't it? <laughs> so it's all over so quickly. <laughs> it is. You blink and you miss it. And now you can see some pictures of the three winners from the first event of the day. The main reason why I like the long distance races is because during the race you have the time to think about why you trained so much in the last last month and weeks. <laughs> <laughs> With 200, you don't have the chance, huh? But as we count the unofficial results, Cesare, Makiva, Simoneski. I suppose beforehand, they, was the, they were the three favorites, just in case of, uh, it was 